We have 80 plus kids off for track this year. We have 50 some boys and 30 some girls and biggest number we've had, had, we've had in a long time. So uh, I, we're excited for a really great track season. They should be. Track. The runners from last year already left their mark all over the Lakeland Thunderbird record books. But with the majority of athletes returning again this year, you may be able to see some of those names up there more than just once. Runners like Wilbo Davis and high jumpers like Emily Scott are back to finish what they started. We lost Frank Scandon, who was a pole vaulter for us. We lost Andrew Schilling, who ran our distance guys. But you know, we have almost all of our we have almost all of our podium people back. So uh, really a great group of guys. And then we have people that were near misses last year. So. Uh, we, sh we should do quite well. Many have seen state medals in track. That includes the boys' 4 by 800 meter relay team, which took first place in Division II. So how do you keep a team hungry when it's already been to the promised land? We coach track and field as a team sport here. It's not, in, it's not about individuals, it's about the team. And so they buy into that. And when they buy into that, then as a group, they, they work together and they do things together. And uh, the group gets better. And so you know, we're really proud of that. Lakeland had their first meet of the season Thursday at home. With spring break around the corner, though, the team didn't have all of its regulars, even though the boys still won first place. And it may not be at full strength for a little while. We'll be probably after our, our T-Bird Invitational, which is April 2nd. We should be full strength at T-Bird Invite. Uh, but really, our, our focus is on the end of the season, the championship time, conference championships, regional, sectional, state. That's what we shoot for. We're covering track and field in Manaqua. Dan Mars, Newswatch 12.